been very blowy. It has, hasn't it, Susie? My goodness me. This is the calm before, um, well, after, I should say, not before, after the storm, Isha. She's now on her way towards Norway, the calm in Kettering and across much of the region. But I did pass several fallen trees on my way into work this morning. This one in Eastgate in Bury St Edmunds. As far as wind gusts associated with Isha, well, Southwold, the lifeboat station there, an unofficial station, but they recorded 67 miles per hour, a gust of 62 miles per hour at Weybourne on the North Norfolk coast, and many other of our stations recording over 50 miles an hour. Now, the winds have eased down, but it's still quite blustery out there. We've got a few showers drifting through this afternoon, but for most of us, it will be dry with gusts of around 35 to 40 miles an hour. But at times we could see something closer to 45 miles an hour. And then through this evening, we'll see some further showers moving through, but a lot of tonight will be dry and there's likely to be a lot of clear sky too. But because of the strength of the wind, we shouldn't see any frost, although we are going to have temperatures as low as three or four degrees Celsius. So certainly a chillier night compared to last night. And again, we keep gusts around 35 to 40 miles an hour, but perhaps something a bit stronger at times. And then tomorrow, another low pressure system, another named storm. This one is Jocelyn bringing a warm front and then a cold front. So the warm front initially brings a lot of cloud and some outbreaks of rain. Then we're going to have a drier slot with some drizzle and showers before the cold front moves through later on. Now initially winds gusting around 35 to 40 miles an hour but as the cold front moves through bringing some more rain tomorrow evening we'll see the winds picking back up again. So gusts around 45 to 50 miles an hour tomorrow evening and into Wednesday and a Met Office yellow warning has been issued for Storm Jocelyn but at the moment only for Cambridgeshire, Northamptonshire and Buckinghamshire but we could get some stronger gusts.